2010 Halo Legends, the complete anime series. Two hours worth. Um, never seen it, no idea what it's like. The problem with the anime is that when you're doing Bugs Bunny, it's fine. If you're going to do something sci-fi in the past 20 years, you've got to have the animation good. You can't just have stick figures or splotchy fucking bunny rabbits. So, um, I don't see how it goes. No idea who made it. But, um, yeah, good Eight minutes in, and it's still his background. You know, I'm occupied. It's background. It's okay, his background, but it's, um, really basic graphics. For some reason, my phone will not pick up the graphics. It's just showing us a dark screen. There we go. I think it's the automatic light adjustment on the camera for somebody who doesn't like LCD screens. Anyhow, it's what you can see is what you get. It's very basic animation. You can barely call it animation because it's more like stop motion. Very, very cheap. It comes across as being cheap. Or something that would have been done by a college student in the 1990s, early 1990s as opposed to something that came out 12 years ago. <sighs> the constant Halo music in the background is a reassuring thing because I've been playing Halo for decades. Although I try to ignore the most recent games which are basically forcing you to be black and all white people are evil. But um, it's background, yeah. Okay, I'm 20 minutes in and it's a monologue, literally a monologue. Hers is the only voice you hear. There is no interactiveness about it. It is just literally a monologue of what has gone before for 20 fucking minutes. It's okay, it's background, but it is only background. Thirty-four minutes in, and it's tedious. The monologue has stopped. I'm assuming that was episode one, half an hour, twenty-five minutes long. This one is directed by a Japanese person, obviously, because now the Sangili, the elites, are all Japanese people. They're all Japanesey, to the point where it's not just Japanesey, but it's 1980s Japanesey. As in, oh, everyone must have honour because we are talking like a dissy and we have honour. Yeah, they fucking don't. To a certain degree, yes, but they, they fucking don't. These are the people that don't have an age of consent unless you've got money. If you're not wealthy, then you can rape any children you want. So, um, yeah, they've also gone for the 1980s version of Transformers against the elites, for fuck's sake. Yeah, I'm tempted to assist. I'm going to delete this shit. It's, I'm 35 minutes through it, which is about a quarter or a third of the entire thing, and it's tedious. So tedious. I'm plodding through it. Let's be clear, Halo is a sci-fi horror zombie demonic possession game franchise. The media seems to have forgotten about this with the movies, which don't really seem to pay much attention to the possession and zombification aspects of the games. This 
it is a children's, and I mean pre-teens version, the sort of thing you could have on Saturday mornings for as a babysitter for the toddlers. It doesn't have any real bearing on the Halo universe other than the never-ending, or how it felt never-ending, monologue at the beginning. It's so tedious and the only positive aspect to this other than the ah, music in the background which is basically his Halo theme tune the only other positive aspect to this is that because it's I'm going to assume Asian made is that um, it's not woke that is the only thing in its favour it's not a big enough thing well, hey, for me to actually keep it, but it is still a big positive. It's 12 years ago and work hadn't quite reached Asia. It, look at some of the Japanese stuff. Um, Frankenstein girl versus vampire girl. The self-harming competitions. Um, the black woman doing the... Uh, yeah, um, I, I can't describe it. I'll get fucking lynched. Funny as fuck. As fucking... It, it's, it's as funny as an anorexic bloke fucking an obese woman. It's that funny. Anyhow, this is just shit. It's not woke. Captain Keys is white, as he was in the original. Miranda Keys is white, as he was in the original. There's none of this ethnic racism against white people, which is a big positive, but... It's still a shit series. It's tedious and slow. I can't imagine anybody actually sitting down and a kid paying attention to it. 